Hi everyone, thank you so much for checking out Crafty Little Rosebud here on YouTube. Tonight I have a little bit different of a haul for you. Um, Michael's had a huge sale on all of their planners and so I went ahead and picked up multiple planners because I wanted to show you all some of the different um, kind of layouts that you all could find at Michael's. Now I know a lot of people in the planner community, you know Erin Condren. Erin Condren primarily has the hourly, the horizontal, and the vertical layouts. And then Happy Planner is another big planner and they have a lot of the horizontal and vertical layouts as well. But they also kind of do different layouts um, with their Happy Girl lines. Well, Recollections at Michael's has a ton of different layouts, some I had no idea about. So they had a huge sale and I went ahead and I grabbed five different of their mini planners and I figured I would do a flip through of those and show you some of the different layouts that are not the vertical or the horizontal. So the ones I grabbed are, um, some of them are kind of similar to what a TN would be and I thought that was really neat. So most of these retail for $15 um, US and $19.99 um, Canadian. And so here's one I got. This one is a 12 month um, undated planner and this is a weekly layout. And so I just wanted to show you the different layouts that you can find. So it says, give your all and more, we'll come back to you. And this is like a colorful rather than neutral. And so in the front, we've got important contacts. We've got important dates, goals. And then we get into our first tab, we get a monthly view and it is undated, which is why I got it. And then here is this layout. Now this to me looks a lot more like a TN layout. Um, but I thought this would maybe be good for memory planning in the future because maybe I don't have a memory every day, but I want to like highlight the important memories that occur. So, and then, um, over here you've got your weekend and you've got a little note section. And so that is how every month looks. I don't think, okay, it does have a note page at the end of each month, which is pretty nice. Um, but since it's a mini, I actually don't make many notes on that. So I'll just kind of show you the tabs in this particular one. I'm not sure if the, um, if the cover's different, if the tabs are different as well. But I thought this one was cute and I thought that the, with this layout, it would be good for memory planning at some point once I'm done with my current memory planner. So, and I just kind of wanted to share these because I didn't know that there were so many different layouts out there. I knew that there were TNs with a wide variety, but I didn't know that Recollections had such a variety. So in the back of this, we've got some note pages, and then we've got a little sticker sheet, and it's got our uh, month tabs. So that is that one, and it just said it was a weekly layout. It was not any more specific than that. Then the next one I picked up is a to-do spiral planner. Um, so I picked this one up because I liked the cover on this one. So it says the best way to get things done is to simply begin. And let's see, we've got a notes and thought page here, a monthly to-do, a priority list, a deadline, check boxes. Let's see if you can see that and then um, a little note section at the bottom. And then inside we've got a notes and thoughts, a morning routine, afternoon routine, and evening routine. And then we've got the week. And here is the layout for that. So you can fill in the day, write in the week, and it's got like a small little horizontal section for you to write things in, and then a note section at the bottom. So you've got the horizontal view for the week, and then you've got a little to-do, Erin's housekeeping, and it's kind of broken into sections, and then to buy an appointment. An appointment. So this might actually be really good for the mom on the go that has like um, multiple kids, especially because I don't know many people that have that many appointments, unless you are helping take care of others. So it looks like that is what it does for each week. So that is very nice. And instead of having like a decorative piece here, it's your monthly to-do list and priorities. 
So that is what that looks like and it does have grid paper in the back. And it looks like it's grid paper for each of the months. So let's see what the end of this looks like. So at the end you get a my list um, and you can fill in what you want the list to be and it numbers down to 20. And it looks like you get multiple pages of that. So that could be really good if you wanna do like my morning routine list and write it out here and then not have to rewrite it. And then it looks like we've got some little stickers and our date covers. So that one is the to-do planner that is undated. Then I grabbed the holiday planner. Um, I really thought this would be cute and I've got the little tiny ones from um, the happy planner but I wanted to check this one out and since it was on sale I figured why not so the most wonderful time of the year this is a holiday keepsake planner and it is undated so here is the first page and we've got a let's see a calendar tab right there so it says holiday goals October November and December and we've got October monthly here but we get to write in the date and let's see, it looks like this is for the whole month of October. Then we go to November and we've got the whole month of November. And then it looks like you get a little note section at the end of that monthly section. And then we get into December. And they've, they're really cute. They're decorated at the top really nicely. And um, the note pages are even decorated. Then we've got a budget section. So here it says checklist, we've got a holiday budget, you do a category, planned and actual. Then you get a spending tracker down here and this is actually going to be fantastic because we shop for so many family members and family friends that um, I think this will be really nice. Then we've got a list section my wish list to give list now for my wish list it's probably going to be things I wish to get my daughter um, and my fiance but it says item source and cost then we've got to give list so name and item and so this I'll probably use once I've purchased the item then on the other side it's got the store buy wrap and gift budget and cost so you can actually check off once it's been bought wrapped and you've given it you can put it in your budget and you can put the cost so that is super cute and very functional and with the amount of people we shop for this will be great all right so after the to give list we've got online shopping item website tracking number date order date received cost and return so hopefully that's showing up okay. I need like 10 of these. Um, then we've got holiday cards, name, address, and mailed. And that is on both pages, so you get a pretty good list. And then you get a little note section again. Next, we've got a party tab here. So information, you've got multiple categories here. We've got a budget section and you can do total planned and total actual and then the category, planned, actual, and the subtotal. And you get two of those over here and then you get a menu section. So you've got drinks, you've got um, drinks, appetizers, salads, sides, main dishes, and desserts. And this will be great because I could write in who's bringing what. Um, Let's see, holiday decor, total planned, actual total again, or total actual, and then you've got the two categories. And then you've got table settings, party date and party time, and table theme. This I actually probably will not use. Um, we don't set tables personally. Then you've got guest list for your parties. Let's see, after the guest list, you've got shopping list and you've got a long, long set of shopping list. So this could actually be good because I could divide it up between like 
a Halloween party we go to, um, Thanksgiving at our house, and then Christmas at multiple houses or something. Um, then we've got budget, menu, table setting, holiday decor. Okay, so this is for multiple parties. So let's see how many parties this accommodates real quick. So I think this accommodates like four parties in it, which could definitely fill a Christmas season for us. So then last, oh, not last, we've got two more tabs. This is our recipes tab. So information and you've got the categories again. Then you've got recipes and they're super cute. So here you put the name from serves prep time, cooking time, ingredients and instructions. And it looks like we get a decent amount of those. So then house and home, and I love that tab. Here it is holiday fun. So holiday countdown, one, craft new ornaments, date and time, sip hot cocoa by the tree, build a gingerbread house, sing holiday carols, have a holiday music dance party, give treats to someone new, Build a snowman, random act of kindness, go see the lights, make s'mores by the fire, write a letter to Santa, holiday family photo, bake cookies and sweets. And then these are blank so you can fill them in yourself. And let's see, goes all the way up to 25 and then has a little extra note section down there. Then inspiration and ideas. And you get a few pages of that. Then organization and cleaning. So you pick the room, you write the date, and you write the task in. Um, holiday project. So on these, you write in the supplies, the instructions, and make notes. This is going to be so awesome when my daughter's a little bit older. So then you get some note pages. You actually get a whole bunch of note pages after that. Let's see. And then you get this very cute sticker sheet, and I just want to show you all. Look at the Christmas washi. Super cute. So that is the um, holiday keepsake planner, and I really might need more than one because this is perfect for covering my holidays and memory keeping at the same time, I think. So um, super cute, and that was originally $14.99 US, and I got it on sale. So super glad I picked that up. It will be great for future holidays. Um, then I've got two more planners I'll show you all the layouts for. So this one, um, it says Dare to Dream Big, and it's foiled. And this layout is the Daily Spiral Planner. Um, so let's get into it. So here is the inside and then here is what the daily schedule looks like. So you write in the date and then today's schedule with hours from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. and then you get a to-do list and a notes section. So I'll show you a closer up of that. And so you could just kind of write in like one line if you have an appointment or something. Um, something that's very time specific and let's see I think that's all there is to this one is 12 months worth of to-do list and mini schedules and so this one I thought would be great being not dated because I could just use it on the days that I have a very busy set time schedule and then here's the stickers that came in the back All right, then lastly, I got a goal spiral planner. I do have the Erin Condren um, Petite Goal Planner, but I wanted to grab the recollections and see which one I liked. Um, who knows, I could use both. So um, these, these days will make the greatest memories. And we'll get into that. Here's the inside. I've got goals, and I guess you could write your goals right here on those lines if you wanted. Then, um, 
let's kind of walk through this one. So setting your goal, what do you want? Why do you want it? What's holding you back? What will, what will you do to get it? How will you prioritize it? When is your deadline? How will you reward yourself? Start small. What are some smaller steps you can work on to help you achieve your main goal? So I don't know what goal I wanna use this for, but um, I definitely like the layout so far. So then you can set monthly goals if you want. You can do month of and set it there. Short-term goal, description, deadline, mini reward, and check it off when it's finished. And it looks like you get two of those right there. So you could do two months worth or do them in the same month. Then you get a long-term goal here. And again, it's the same layout as the short-term goals. Then um, the next page is goals by month. And it looks like you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten goals for the month. So, you, I mean, you can make these smaller goals if you want. Then you've got a gratitude tracker, list what you love, I am grateful for, and you get many, many options to fill in. Achievement tracker, fill up your life. So you could write what I achieved so far. You could write the month up here if you wanted and then write three things you achieved in that month. Or you could do it by categories of like home life, work life, school, and write the achievements for those specific categories. Then we've got a Dream It, Do It vision board and two pages of graph paper. And then a bucket list here and it's got a good amount of dots for you to fill in. So let's see what the actual monthly looks like. Here is the monthly, it is undated. And then inside we've got goal motivation. I want to be, reasons I want to be, I want to do, reasons I want to do, and you've got five in each. Then routine, first things first, morning, afternoon, evening, and before bed. And this would actually be really good for me because I'm trying to get more into a routine. Um, goals for the month right here, and you get 10 of those. And then you've got your days of the week. And I guess you could write in whether you accomplished your goal, whether you completed your routine, whatever you wanna put in there. Then at the end, you've got a goal tracker for the 30, one days right here and you again can write all your goals in there and then here you can track your progress so you could fill that in if you're a visual person that would be fantastic then we've got a little lined note page so i'm assuming that the layout is the same across the board but let's just double check so it is and they've all got the line pages. So I'm not gonna go through all those, or I guess I can show you the tabs because the tabs are actually really pretty. They're made to be motivational and you know made, to want, made for you to want to keep looking at your planner. So I'm definitely going to try this out. I might start with my petite though, just because I've already got it set up in my planner folio, but um, I think this planner could actually be really good for accomplishing some of my um, bigger goals. So that's the tabs on those. And then let's see, we probably, we've got some note pages in the back, they're just lined, and we probably have a sticker sheet. So here is our sticker sheet for this one. So that is all I've got for you all. I showed you all the gold um, planner here. Um, we had the daily spiral planner here. And then we did the, um, the holiday planner. The to-do planner. And then last but certainly not least, we actually did this one first. This is the 12 month spiral planner and it's the weekly layouts. I am so happy I was able to pick up all of these mini recollection planners because look at this great collection and now I can literally have a layout for just about any of my needs at this point. 
So um, that's all I've got for you. Um, I will try to link these below if they are still available when this video goes up. If they're no longer available, I can't give you a link. But you can search the Recollections planners and if they're available, they will come up. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.